we have a great thing to have you here and look forward to meeting later on. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, the Prime Minister's done a fantastic job, and we've become friends over the last fairly short period of time. And great relationship to Ireland, I think, as good as it's ever been, maybe better. Uh, tremendous trade. We do a lot of business together, a lot of trade business together, a lot of tourism together. And maybe most importantly, uh, you are certainly one of the leading countries in terms of people moving and living in the United States. We have millions of Irish, and I think I know most of them because they're my friends. We, uh, we love the Irish. So it's an honor to be here. We'll be discussing uh, various things. Probably you'll ask me about Brexit because I, I just left uh, some very good people that are very much involved with Brexit, as you know. And I think it'll all work out. It'll all work out very well. And also for you, with your wall, your border. Uh, I mean, we have a border situation in the United States, and you have one over here. But I hear it's going to work out very well. I think it's both going to work out well. It's going to work out very well here. And uh, again, uh, both the military and the trade is such a big factor, and we're going to be discussing that very much. So it's an honor to be in Ireland with my friend. and. He's doing a great job as your Prime Minister. The main, the main thing you want to avoid, of course, is, is going to avoid our wall between... No, the, I think you do. Inside, I think so. you do. The way it works now is good. You want to try and keep it that yeah. way. And I know that's a big point of contention with respect to Brexit is your border. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to work out well. I know they're focused very heavily on it. No, I think it should be good. I mean, the big thing is going to be your border, and hopefully that's going to work out. I think it will work out. Uh, there are a lot of good minds thinking about how to do it, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be just fine. I think ultimately it could even be very, very good for Ireland, but the border will work out. Mr. President, what do you think of our president's comments? Where he said your stance on climate change was pernicious and reckless. Well, I haven't heard those comments, but, you know, we have the cleanest air in the world in the United States, and it's gotten better since I'm president. We have the cleanest water. It's crystal clean, and I always say I want crystal clean water and air, so I haven't heard his comments, but we do have. We're setting records environmentally. Mr. President, are you concerned that Ireland is not sufficiently worried about the threat from Huawei? I know that it just came up in Britain. <clears throat> Some people worry about it in this country as well. Well, I know that, and we deal very closely, as you know, with your intelligence and your security, and we're working on that together. And I know you're concerned, like we're concerned. We're all concerned about it, so well, that's uh, we'll have it. That's, right. that's something that the Irish government uh, is concerned about as well. And uh, well, we've been offered some uh, further briefings, information from right. the U.S. side, just to give us um, a security briefing on that. And uh, we'll do our own security analysis first, and then at a European level. But uh, it is something that we're also concerned about. We're working on that together, very much with not only Europe, but with, uh, with Ireland. Mr. President, you days in Dubai. What's your plan? What will you so we'll be going there, and then, as you know, I'm making a trip tomorrow to uh, Normandy. We had an incredible time today. This was uh, just something that the likes of which few people have seen anything like it. We were with the Queen and the royal family, and we were with uh, the Prime Minister, and it was something very special. Uh, many of you were there. I think almost all of you were there, but. It's been very well covered, and it was truly beautiful. And tomorrow we go to where the where it all took place. We go to Normandy, and uh, I'll be leaving from Dunbeg. I'm staying here overnight, and I thought uh, this would be the best place. I'd love to come to Ireland and stay at Dunbeg, and uh, tomorrow we'll be leaving and going to Normandy. So many of you will be coming with us. Say it. Is this trip for you just about promoting your golf club? I know this trip is really about uh, great relationships that we have with the UK, and uh, I really wanted to do this stop in Ireland. It was very important to me because of the relationship I have with the people and with your Prime Minister. Yeah, we're looking at that. Uh, we almost made it last time. It was one vote. You know that, and we're looking at that. I'm sure that's something we're going to discuss. And I spoke to the one vote, who's a great senator, by the way. And uh, he really is. He's a great senator, and uh, we think we're going to be successful. He's, he's a terrific person. He's, he doesn't mean to do any harm, that I can tell you. He, he, he was telling me he loves Ireland, actually. So I think we're going to be in good shape. We had just about a unanimous vote, and if, we, yeah, if yeah, we get a unanimous vote, 
Uh, we do something that they've been trying to do for a long time. So I want to do that for the people of Ireland, but I want to do it for the people that are in the United States that want this vote to happen, that happen to be of Irish descent. President Trump, as the U.S. says, co guarantors of the Good Friday Agreement, what assurances do you offer the government in helping to protect peace in Northern Ireland and avoid a hard border? Well, I think what's going to happen is, over the next period of time, first they're going to have to see who's going to be Prime Minister. And I think it's a very important decision. We'll see what happens over in the U.K., because that's going to be decision number one, who is going to be Prime Minister. And once that happens, that person will get in and try and make a deal. And maybe if they don't make a deal, they do it a different way. But I know one thing, Ireland's going to be in great shape. Ireland is, is you know, a special place. It's going to be in very good shape. I don't think the border's going to be a problem at all. Did you, uh, sir, did you see those reports of executions in North Korea of the, the folks who were involved in your summit? Uh, does that worry you at all that, that Kim would execute these people? Well, I don't know if the reports are correct because one of the gentlemen who we deal with is, uh, this is North Korea they're talking about, is uh, somebody that we know well. He's a strong man. He's a strong person. And uh, they like to blame Kim Jong-un immediately, but they said he was killed, and he wasn't. He was at the theater the other night, so he wasn't killed. Uh, the other four people I know nothing about, but uh, it is uh, it's an interesting situation. I think that they would like to make a deal, and we'd like to make a deal with them. We'll see how it goes. It's been going pretty well, because there hasn't been testing of anything major, and frankly, there's been no nuclear testing in a long period of time. When I became president, and before that, as you know, it was all the time, nuclear testing, ballistic missile <coughs> testing, and now there's nothing. I think that Chairman Kim would like to make a deal, and I'd like to make a deal with him. I look forward to seeing him at, at the appropriate time. And again, uh, one of the people they were talking about that was supposedly executed wasn't executed at all. Mr. President, what about Sir? Sir, corporations have this part Well, the corporation tax, you mean the fact that it's so low? It is a very low tax, I have to agree. You know, we have our tax very, very low. Uh, but they've done a very good job in Ireland, and uh, your Prime Minister has kept it there. And he's, uh, they have a lot of great companies here. Thank you. Thank you. They should try. They should try keeping it low. I agree. With that. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. President of the United States in Shannon, Ireland, meeting with the Irish Prime Minister. The President just arriving in Shannon from the UK, where he attended D-Day ceremonies today, ending his official state visit to the UK. The questions there, understandably dealing with Brexit, Ireland's particular issue with its border, as the UK negotiates with the European Union about leaving Brexit. Uh, the President voicing his admiration there for the low Irish corporate taxes. Uh, mostly uh, pleasantries with the Irish Prime Ministership. Oh, he's talking about China. China, let's listen. And uh, the, every signal is they want to, and at the right time, probably that will happen. But right now, they're paying many billions of dollars to the United States. We never got that before from China, and we haven't even started. It's relative peanuts compared to the numbers that we're talking about. But I think China wants to make a deal, and Mexico, you know, wants to make a deal. They have their entire delegation right now going over to probably the White House location, but to negotiate with our people. It's headed up by Mike Pompeo and Bob Lighthizer, and Mike Pence is uh, involved, so we have a great group. But Mexico, look, uh, the drugs that are coming in, the people that are coming in unchecked, uh, they're swamping up, or they're coming up by the millions. Mexico can stop it, they have to stop it. Otherwise, uh, we just won't be able to do business. It's a very simple thing. And I think they will stop it. I think they want to do something. I think they want to make a deal. And they sent their top people to try and do it. We'll see what happens today. We should know something.